Hi, it's Jess here from Ledgers of Create. Thank you for joining me today. So I've got these old records. So at Christmas time, we do like a stocking. Um, and uh, because my children are adults, um, and as you get older, you get less presents. And um, too old for stockings. So we decided many years ago, probably about, probably been doing about eight, nine years, maybe longer. Um, we have what we call £10 presents. So we each spend £10, try and get at least 10 presents. And um, and then we like each of us have our own um, wrapping paper. And so on Christmas morning, those are the first things we open. And so we pick the wrapping paper that's not your own. And so I bought these. And um, some sometimes we do a little bit of a joke, uh, but mostly we have things that are useful and can be used. Um, but um, I was in a charity shop and I, they were selling records. I think they were, I think they were either three for two pound or three for a pound, I can't remember. And so I went through and I picked the ones with covers I liked and I thought I'm gonna use these in a journal. So I need to make a cover to replace these covers because I wanna keep these. And, um, and then uh, I can, can gift the record. Now I picked, this one, Flashbang Wallop by Tommy Steele, because that evokes some memories. Um, I've got here Lipstick on Your Collar, um, which I thought was funny, and I kind of had some, um, I thought uh, that would, uh, that kind of made me think of things. And I thought Ed and his mum would, would remember those things, the boys wouldn't. And this one, I've no idea, no idea what this one is. Um, it's a record by Marino Marini and his quartet. Um, and um, is this, that's, which is the A side and which is the B side? No idea really. Can't read, can't read. Anyway, this one's Chow Chow Babina. <laughs> and this side is Avamo La Stessa Etta. I've probably murdered that language. Anyway, this was from 1959, so I've no idea. Anyway, I I chose these for the. <laughs> I chose them for these. So anyway, let's get on and make the the. Th so as I was wrapping them, I was just going to wrap them in ordinary paper, and then I thought, let's make. So I've got some music paper here that is quite quite sturdy. So we need two sheets to make one cover some music paper i have is quite fragile but actually most times it's quite robust and i guess it's got to be robust because if you're playing in an orchestra or something then and you're turning the pages and you're using it a lot and you're writing little notes on you want um you want it to be um withstand withstand being used for the purpose for which it was made so what i did was a measured me record um, and uh, yes the seven inches we know that but it's in it's in a cover so it is bigger and I think although that measured seven and a half I think I went to seven and a quarter which I'm sure is what I did yeah so I was looking at seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter but I want to fold under so that's the top I want the top bit folded under um, let's just put that on. Um, top bit over um, half an inch. So I've got the two together just to be a bit quicker. So, so we want half an inch at the top and half an inch fold down at the bottom. So we want to go an inch more. So we'll go to eight and a quarter. So that gives me half an inch at the top and half an inch at the bottom. Save that for something else. And then on the sides, yeah, we want to fold under again, half an inch on each side. So again, we want to go eight and a quarter. So we want to just take a smidge off. So we just take, just take that smidge off the corner that side where, so now it's, taking that nasty edge off. So that's what we're starting with. Um, so decide which one, so yeah, I 
we'll put that on the front and this one on the back so this is going to be so that's all going to be folded in so this is just going to be a panel so i want to i want to cut this down to just below seven and a quarter so taking that off there so seven and a quarter so we'll go to seven and an eighth and we'll do the same so this one needs to be still folded over so if we're going to do seven and eight because i'm going to cut a bit off i want to go to seven and three eighths so that gives me the fold down at the top because that's still going to get folded down but it's going to get stuck on is that making sense I hope so. Now you can use a ruler or you can use a scoreboard. I'm using a scoreboard. So on the top, you're going to come down half an inch. We're doing half an inch on all. All four sides actually, Jess. It is so much easier to do half an inch from that side, just about. Well, it is for me anyway. Maybe left handers find it easier from that side. Possib possibly. There we go. But on this one, we just want the half an inch down on the top. Valleys become mountains. It's that way, isn't it? There we are. That's that. So, I mean, you could eyeball and, you know, fold. Use a ruler. Ruler on your craft mat works, works well, actually. So uh, I've just put the bowl folder away and I want it. Fluff that. So there we go. So that's the top there. Folding in the sides. All the way around. You can make any sort of bag this way. So when that's all folded in, this should fit on top with a bit of a bit of a margin around it. So let's Give those creases a good crease. And then we're just going to notch in the corners. Craft a lunch. You would not believe how messy my desk is. I did share it in my group actually. I'd lost a punch. I went, can anybody see it? Because sometimes if you lose something, it is visible to some people. Anyway, I found it on the floor, as you do. I've got a box down beside me of projects that I've started that need finishing. And they're kind of my plan for over Christmas. And then I've got two other journals that I've started that need finishing. There we go. So that's that. That one. I don't have to, but I might just trim. Just a smallish smidge off the top of that. There we go. And then top one, we're just going to glue down. So that just gives the top of the record cover some extra stability. Like you would if you were making a bag 
or a pocket put a little bit of extra on top there let's move you over there where you belong um glue that top down before we go any further and then we push the sides in and then the top goes up like that so i'm just gonna just put some glue on the corner of that so it will stick down to that up bit so you need this flap on the outside so that when you put the record in there's nothing there's nothing getting in its way so just a little bit there on corner on oh, corner sounded right yorkshire there jez i don't live in yorkshire but i ain't from yorkshire the boys are born and bred and then my idea is to just stick that oh, being a little bit ungenerous a little bit ungenerous there might make the back just a little bit shorter it won't matter because the other bit's the front so we'll do that but actually that top bit needs to be a little bit longer so what we're going to do is put glue all the way around the edge of this on the furthest side i should have left it at seven and a quarter plus the half inch in height and then we'll put this around the inside corner inside edge rather and then it's going to get a tiered I have to do this because I don't have paper that would be long enough to fold it in half and make this out of one sheet so there we go that down okay so we're gonna we've come down a little bit from the top out of necessity but i don't think it matters now we are time traveling in this um, video so I'm going to get a different record out so that can go down there and actually I think it works quite well having a little bit like that so now that's in there what I'm doing is I'm feeling for where the middle is and I'm just going to Put a little circle there where the middle is yep i put a hole in it last time but um then i've got a hole in my circle that's left over so now i know that's the middle i've got a die this is my biggest plain circle die which measures Let's do it where it's going to cut, Jez. So it's just shy of a three inch in diameter, which will be slightly smaller than this, but it will allow you to see the record. So it's okay. Now I'm eyeballing with that little circle that I've made what will be the center there we are that will do and now i'm going to rub it out which requires a rubber which i can't let me see can't see where my rubber is well i would rub it all i've got one there on the end of the pencil there we go i can rub that line out now 
whereas when I did it first time, I, stuck, I made a little hole, which is fine because I could just cover that up, but better still not to have the hole in the first place. Now, of course, with this being like seven and a half inches wide, you do need a 12, uh, like an A4 um, die cutting machine, which I do have, but I'm still putting it on the little one. So I've got um, I've got a Sizzix switch. I had a big shot before, so um, but because the opening's wider, I just just for ease, I use this. So I'm going to get that cut out. There we are. That's that done. All the way through. Marvelous. Pull it off and make sure when I washi tape things on. I make sure that the washi tapes um, have lots of sticky taken off it and this is like being reused about 65 million times. I um, just keep it attached to one of my little pen pots. But it does, after a while, sometimes you do get bits on. Anyway, there they are. So I've got another two circles and by the time I've made them all, I'll have another two. I've only got one more to make after this. So and occasionally it does pull a bit off. If I hadn't got rid of some of the sticky and one of the ways to do that was just by putting it on my hand, it can pull the paper up and you don't want that. So there we go. That is that. So that's the back, that's the front. Lip stuck on your collar is what this one's going to be. Put me, put me, and that, and that's it. So now we've got to decorate, and this is where we're time traveling, and we're going to see the one I've already done. Okay, so this is the point I got to when I decided that I'd film what I was doing. Um, so um, obviously, when you cut out, you would end up with two nice circles, so they will be kept, and I'll do something else with them. So, of course, I'm going to ink, even though this is going to be a print. I just think it will look nicer. So, you know, if it's going to be put on display or just given back to me, <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to make most of it. So I'm just going to go around the edges. I could have inked the panel that I put on here separately, but I didn't. So um, we want to ink the centre. A lot of effort for a jokey present, but it then can be a nice a nice decoration afterwards. And um, it could be done with you know, maybe there's a song that means something, you know, like your wedding song or or maybe it's a memory for your mum. I mean, for me, I could do one of these for my mum, you know, with Danny Boy. There's a bit of washi left on there. With Danny Boy, my mum was always, always tell me, mum's had too much to taxi for Phyllis. She's had too much to drink. She's singing Danny Boy, you know, so. And then you could actually put the pictures of the person. Oh, just when I start thinking about things, my mind just goes on overdrive. So there we go. Oh, no, one more. And I was thinking I might do a journal that's sort of this size and made of old record covers. That'd be cool. I do want to do a sort of a, a retro 1950s one and actually putting some pages in that are like records would, would, would be cool. Very cool. So there's that bit done. So just checking which one's the front. I'm going to do that as the front. Um, so I picked out a few bits that I had in my little ephemera holder. So I had 
add this left over that washi is there from a previous project and I thought that was quite nice going round um, it is um, about a wedding so I had this vellum flower left over I think these were from the same project um, might put a little butterfly I might put that up there to cover up that little where the washi tape actually tool did tear and then it's a wedding so we need a bride and I liked the way that that dress went like that and then I've picked out timeless because the song is timeless I think I loved her for six months kind of reminds me of my childhood it was I love Tommy Steele I was brought up on all those sort of old films, Tommy Steele and um, Norman Wisdom, loved a bit of Norman Wisdom, um, uh, yeah, musicals, Hello Dolly, that kind of makes me think of Hello Dolly to be fair, I love Judy Garland, Gene Kelly, he was my favourite, and um, yeah, Watch them all. Singing in the rain. Love that film. Love it, love it. So, there. So that's all the inking that's required on that. Because the rest were already inked. So, just going to start gluing down. So, there's... Put the lid on this and everything. Still can't find my little cork that's got a couple of pins in it so that I can easily unblock. It's coming out now. Need to find it. I am going to do... I keep saying this is going to be my last video before Christmas. I mean, I don't know if this is going to come out before Christmas to look at the schedule and um, and then I have another idea but I want to I've got I'm, I'm I've got video scheduled for the new year so I uh, do want to take actually I might stick that there over that and put the butterfly somewhere else um, yeah I uh, want to take a bit of time off over Crimbo and New Year I like to not film, to just craft for pleasure. And I'm hoping that, you know, I will have some crafty gifts and um, I can play with some new things. I've got some projects I want to finish off that are hanging around. So I thought I'd finish them off and um, sort of do some flip throughs. Put you over a little tad, I think. Yeah, yeah, we'll have you there. She's pretty. So the die and stamp set, they're a stamping up die and stamp set. This is a photo I've sourced myself. Um, the butterflies are Maze, I think. Might be Tracy Fox. Don't know. One or the other. This is an Maze freebie, I'm sure. And let's decide. I think I want the butterfly up there, I think. She is sort of looking up, so she could be looking at it. I went to a friend years ago, friends of mine got married, and 
a couple of butterflies got into the church and they were just flying around the altar so as they were like doing their vows and things there was just this this butterfly I can't remember if it was one or two just flying about it was just beautiful so that's what made me think of that so there we go so here we go with flashbang wallop wallop picture want a photograph all dressed up la -di da -di da yeah I was worried then I'd done it not the right way up and that is my beautiful record sleeve and so now I have the one it came in I love it got the one it came in for using in a journal which is what I wanted and I say maybe giving that one back and um, that is ideas for a journal um, next year so yeah very happy with that hope that's useful and um, now I'm going to go back in time and film the beginning <laughs> and then make the others because I've got two more to make so um, so yeah hope you enjoyed that uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, leave me a comment tell me what you think and um, yeah look out for a project that I might be doing with uh, record covers um, in 2024 okay bye for now